The Carbon Fiber Technology Facility has three main missions. To build on the laboratory's decades of carbon fiber research, to establish partnerships with industry, and to train a workforce for the CFTF and other advanced manufacturing opportunities. The CFTF's 390-foot-long processing line begins at the tow feed station. Here, polymer fiber in tow format feeds into the pretreatment module and proceeds through the tow band former prior to heat treatment. Next, polymer pellets are fed into an extruder and melted through a combination of heat and pressure. The molten material feeds into a metering pump then through an extrusion die to turn very fine filaments into a continuous web up to one feet wide. Fibers in tow form then make multiple passes through four ovens, each having three distinct flow regimes. Thermal zone two is corrosive proof, which enables desulfurization. Next, the material makes a single pass with two carbonization furnaces. The low temperature furnace is rated at 1,000 degrees Celsius and has the capability to produce nanoporous fibers. Approximately half of the material is vaporized during carbonization. The remaining material is nearly 100% carbon as an inner surface treatment that renders it chemically compatible with rosin. After the fiber is boated with a thin layer of polymer, it is dried and packaged.